Good morning. Welcome back. It's Friday Coffee Talks, episode 68. We have a wonderful cup of coffee today. Um, I want to start by addressing the events of this week. Um, I honestly went back and forth quite a bit on whether to even film an episode this week. Uh, I'll be honest, it doesn't feel right uh, to talk about sales or, or try to make anything funny this week, given the, the circumstances. But uh, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that uh, while we certainly don't want to minimize anything that happened this week, I also want um, people, my kids, my family to to also experience some fun uh, and be able to laugh a little bit. So, uh, so I, I am going to film an episode. Um, I'm going to I'm have some things to, to talk about a bit, but uh, more importantly, uh, just my my heart and my prayers and everything is with Uvalde, Texas. Um, it has been profoundly impacting for me as a father to see things unfold. Um, and it's, it's just heartbreaking. It's, I have had trouble sleeping this week as I think about these kids. Um, it's terrible. And I'll be honest, my first instinct is, has been to shy away from it, to not read the news, to not look at the pictures, um, because I don't want it's uncomfortable. It's sad. It's horrible. It's tragic. Um, but the more I thought about it, I have this just pit of guilt in my stomach that, um, that why should I get to avoid the pain of this when there are all these families down there who have been tossed into the the hell of this situation and they don't get to make a choice whether they deal with it or not. They have to sit through the pain. And so I feel like I owe it to the kids and teachers that I need to, um, look at their faces and know their stories because, uh, that's, that's one way that we can honor them. Um, so I have, I've, I've read the things and I've, I've been involved in the, the news stories coming and it's just heartbreaking. It's, it's so sad and so tragic and, um, it just underscores the need for change. I don't know what that looks like. I don't have the answers. One guy talking on a YouTube channel is not going to make that change. But if I were to sit back and not say something, then hundreds or thousands of other people also feel that same way, then this becomes part of life. And that's not something that I can accept. That's not a reality that I want to live in. So um, I've heard a lot of different ideas about how to, to fix this situation. It's a uniquely American problem. And it's something that we have to figure out. Uh, we, can't, we can't let this continue. So uh, lots of ideas have been thrown out. Some good, some bad. The extreme ends on either side are probably not the way to go. But I definitely think that there's somewhere in the middle that we can come to a compromise, find the right thing to do that's going to keep our kids safe because that's ultimately the most important thing. Politics, power, money, none of that matters. It's more, it, we have to keep the kids safe. So, um, yeah, that's my part on that. Uh, Uvalde, Texas, the people of Robb Elementary, we are thinking about you. I've been praying for you a lot this week. Um, just be comforted and, and know that um, we're all here with you. So on that note, um, to shift to something a little bit more positive, I need this coffee today very badly, and it is very good. Because yesterday was our very first Summer Adventure Thursday. It's something that my wife created uh, a couple years ago um, to take advantage of the summer days and you know, a little bit to not have the kids every day being like, let's go do this every day. So she has one day a week that is their summer adventure day. And every day during that week while they're off school, she goes and takes them to do some fun activity. So last year, uh, it happened to be on Wednesdays. So she called them Saw Days, Summer Adventure Wednesdays. This year we have SAT. That's not quite a, as cool of an acronym, but um, it's going to be great. Last year she did things uh, big and small. It didn't always have to be something huge. So there were days where she went to the zoo, I think was one of them. There were days where she went and did, um, oh gosh, I can't remember. But there were also days where they went and got lunch at a fast food restaurant, like got to sit and enjoy some food and go and do, I don't even remember. So it, it doesn't have to be extravagant. To give you an example, yesterday was the first one of this year. They started off the day by going to a new bookstore. 
So they went and they checked out this new bookstore. It has a cafe. So they got to get their little drinks. Fally got her um, hot chocolate, Parker with his smoothie that Savannah ended up drinking most of. They got to pick out some new books. Um, Parker is an avid reader. The guy can consume books like nothing else. And so they all got to pick out some new books that they wanted to read. Um, Then they went and got lunch yesterday. And we capped off the day by uh, doing a little indoor camping. So that was my mistake. It was fun. Don't get me wrong. It was fun. We made s'mores. We roasted some marshmallows and made s'mores, ate them on the front porch. Happened to be pouring down rain all day yesterday. So we set up the tent in the basement and uh, we all set out to camp down in the basement. Uh, Parker made it, I don't know, about an hour (laughs) before he went up to his bed. Uh, But Fallon and I did sleep down here. Uh, We slept on the floor. I slept on the floor and it was a tough night of sleep. But for some reason, um, I don't know. I feel like you get up early when you camp anyways, but Fallon was up at five, woke up the whole house. So it has been a long morning for us here at the Volpe household, but the kids had a lot of fun on their first summer adventure Thursday. I, we have some big plans for this summer. We're going to grab our little, my little nieces. We're going to go and do a lot of fun things. Um, Mandy will do a lot of it during the day and, and hope I, I'll get to join in some, uh, some evenings and things after work, but um, I love it. I think it's a great idea. The kids definitely look forward to it. It gives them a thing each week that they can be uh, bought into of coming up with ideas, fun things they want to do, um, and, and you know keep the activities in the summer fun where they're not just sitting around on their iPads or watching Netflix or something like that. Um, so maybe steal that idea. Summer adventure days for your kids. Um, I hope you all have a, a better week next week than this one. Um, enjoy some coffee. Thanks for joining us. I do have a great episode coming next week. I have an interview lined up that uh, I think is going to be really fun. So don't miss episode 68 next week. We'll be back on Friday. Thanks. See you all next week.